Hi, this is Mark Fleming, President of Signature Closers. Today I'd like to spend a few moments going over a sample loan estimate form. The loan estimate is going to replace the preliminary truth in lending form as well as the good faith estimate provided today during the disclosure period when a borrower applies for a loan. These changes will take place on most loans originating on or after October 1, 2015. So for this example, we're going to look at just a refinance sample loan um, and go through some of the paperwork and what it looks like. You'll see that the loan estimate at the top of the page includes the borrower's uh, information in regards to their names, the property address, the estimated property value. It also includes information about the loan such as the term, purpose, and product uh, being looked at within the loan estimate. Some other information you'll see across the front of the page, the loan terms includes the loan amount of 150,000 in this case, the interest rate, monthly principal and interest, as well as if there's a prepayment penalty or balloon payment. And it talks about, um, you know, can the amount increase after closing in regards to the amount of the loan, the interest rate, the principal and interest, as well as does the loan even contain features such as the prepayment penalty or balloon payment. You'll see projected payments for years one through four with a principal and interest, mortgage insurance, and estimated escrow breakout, as well as your total monthly payment. And then years five through 10, you'll see that, or excuse me, years five through 30, you'll see that same breakout. Uh, you'll notice mortgage insurance has fallen off at this point. And this is considered to be especially helpful to the borrower to be able to see this breakdown uh, right within the loan estimate. You'll also see the estimated taxes, insurance, and assessments. Uh, talks about what will be included in escrow, and in this case, you can see that includes property taxes and homeowners insurance. Uh, there's a detail for estimated closing cost at the bottom of the page, that 5,099 number. And then your estimated cash to close, you'll see here that the borrower is actually expected to collect $24,901 from the refinance. The next page of the of the uh, loan estimate form, excuse me, includes your origination charges, where you can see the 1,950, uh, and all the charges underneath that that total up to that amount. You'll see services you cannot shop for, as well as services you can shop for, uh, and typically you're going to see the the title services are going to appear under the services you can shop for. Those three categories, section A, B, and C, are going to be totaled into total loan cost in section D. And then you'll get to see taxes and other government fees in section E, as well as prepaids. And typically you're gonna see homeowner's insurance, prepaid interest, property taxes, mortgage insurance. That's all very common to see in the prepaid section. Section G is gonna have initial escrow payments at closing. So they're gonna set aside a few months uh, to build that escrow account at closing in section G. And then H would include anything not included in the previous categories as far as cost concerned with your loan. Section I is going to total up the other costs, um, not including sections A, B, and C that you've already accounted for. Section J is going to provide the total closing cost, which is essentially taking section D, the 3,521, and adding it to section I, which is 2,078. You'll notice the total closing cost equal $5,099. That's because a $500 lender credit has been applied underneath the total cost. And then finally, you'll see calculating cash to close. The loan amount is $150,000, total closing cost of $5,099, less your estimated total payoffs and payments, so an existing loan maybe of $120,000, leaves cash to the borrower of $24,901. This page has a little bit of additional information about the loan. It shows you that in five years, you'll have paid $51,932 in total, which will include your principal interest, mortgage insurance, and other loan costs. $13,788 will be applied towards your principal. You'll see the annual percentage rate is 4.537%, and that's your total cost over the loan term expressed as a rate, does not your actual interest rate. And that's important to point out to borrowers. The total interest percentage uh, is basically looking at the amount of interest that you will pay over the loan term as a percentage of the total loan amount. And then there's a section for other considerations, including appraisal, um, whether your loan's assumable or not, uh, liability after foreclosure, and then servicing if they intend to service the loan. Below we've shared a link to the National Notary Association training on the TILA RESPA integrated disclosures. We would highly encourage our signing agents to go through this training uh, to better understand these changes. I want to thank you for your time today reviewing the loan estimate form. 
If you have questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. We're obviously here to support you in your growth and your education with these new changes. Also, please keep in mind, uh, these new disclosures and this new disclosure form in particular will come into play on most loans originating on or after October 1st, 2015. Thank you again for your time.